Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Uh, we've just recently completed our first uh, enemy character design and idle animation. Our character here is our character Anger, but this is a level C character, which means I would have to create a, a smaller, a medium and a small size version of this, almost like a, like a Pokemon evolving from one uh, type to another. But before I do that, I'd like to try out how to modify the this floor. Um, and this would be a, the start of our um, environment design. So my initial plan for this game is to have um, these, uh, this size of block procedurally generate, generated with the elements um, procedurally procedurally generated as well. That means I would have a script uh, within the game and probably a C++ one that would create a, a floor this size and then I was I'm planning of doing a certain at a, uh, doing a point and then do a ray trace from that central point somewhere here and then randomly trace so uh, as whenever it touches a whenever it touches a um, the floor i would create stuff in there like grass or trees or a puddle of water and, and stuff like that so the terrain would change that way um i would also include um i would also include the uh, stuff that would uh, alter the that would alter the what do you call it, the pathing of the AI so that's my plan right now so right now I'll start with um, creating a, a possible um, material for our uh, floor at the same time I'm also planning that a block like this can have different themes for example I'm thinking of um, let's say a tropical theme wherein you have banana trees and um, coconuts and stuff like that and then you would have caves like the other stuff and then you'd have something else procedurally generated again on either one of the side of the rectangle one of the sides of the rectangle and then have that as for example a desert theme so now you would have snakes, spiders, and what, whatnot, cactuses maybe. So that's my plan. <clears throat> but for now, I will start with creating a, a hand drawing, a material for our floor. So the way we do that here is, um, let me check my environment, and then you, I have the floor. So this would be my standard floor. And then this floor is currently using a material called emissive, um, uh, no, default decal material. I would duplicate that and I would do material. Hmm, I'm thinking if I would put in, okay, let's do this material, no. ENV material um, floor tropical. So environment material for the floor. I know I'll, I'll switch this. Environment floor material and the theme. Okay, let's do the theme first. So tropical um, floor and then material. So I would go by theme and then I would go by object and then I would go by material. That way um, my materials would be sorted out uh, easily with um, using the theme and then using the, the object and then whatever concerns that object. So I will 
do that and we'll open the static mesh and switch my material and then um, we could get rid of the other stuff later um, this material is using this default diffuse so let me duplicate that and um, this would be texture let's do the same thing again tropical floor um, texture and then let's update our material to use that that will be tropical floor T. so I will export this let's see if I can export it there you go We'll export it and see if I can, um, let's do FHL files, environment, let's see how I did, environment tropical materials. So I would, I typically follow the structure here so it's easier to trace um, within the game and outside the game outside the real engine you let's go textures see and maybe this one should go into a texture folder textures here and I guess I could, could delete these guys texture to the default diffuse and okay let's delete this let's delete this and let's delete default diffuse all right let's do fix up redirectors and Hmm. Environment tropical floor. So this guy is using the default diffuse. It thinks. Save. Close. And let's try that again. Good. So it's just a memory thing. So, alright, where are we? Let's go to our environment, tropical texture, a Targa file. Let's open it in Adobe. And yes, I have um, an older version of Photoshop. I think this is the version I practice Photoshop with. And, um, but yeah, it did some... did really great to do it okay so now I'm putting on I'm using it my uh, let's just go to our drawing tablet and um, I would like to do a let's see <clears throat> let's do a let's fill everything up with green Let's do. I don't want it to be too bright, so I'd start with something like that. Just doing a layer, and let's save this. Make sure we don't lose whatever changes we have. Okay, let's. I would go turn it a bit more green, dark green, maybe. Tropical. All right, let's start that. Now, let's see if we can. Um, multiply. No, I don't want to. Go. 
Okay, so I have two textures I'd like to play with um, right here. I would start with one. And um, let's see if I compress that if it's too obvious. And the thing with this is I need a texture that would um, look tiled, tile in our, hold on, let me see, uh, whenever it's um, in the environment. So the way I do that is 124, so that would be 512. I would cut it up in four sections. And I need to make sure that, all right, let's duplicate that. And then I would go rasterize. The way I do that is I um, cut it in four sections and then I would swap them. So we go paste. swap their positions. That way you know that this side would tile with this side. So let's do some blending in here. Um, maybe we could turn this on and then we would go erase. Let's see if we can um, we can do some erasing. There we go. Oops. Actually, that wasn't bad, so. It's not as obvious. So as long as we don't touch the sides, then that should um, tile up nicely. Let's do, do it again. And this time with the background duplicate. And then let's go merge that together. Oops. Control E. And X. Create a new layer. Paste that to that layer. And then. Do it again. Let's go E. Oops. It's very obvious lines in there. This one too. Oops. Hold on. I need to make sure this doesn't touch the sides. Should be fine. And um, let's give it a color green. Multiply. I'm liking it so far. Green. Let's start with that just so we could see how it looks. Let me quickly save this. Save as I usually do. Oops. File save as. I think we could go with JPEG. Very high. No, I think high is okay. Let's start with JPEG. And um, environment tropical texture. Let's try this. V1. And then in here, let's try re import with new file. 
and it looks red. And that's because of the material we have. What do we do on the material? Hmm. And the tiling is very obvious. So we'd have to do something about that. Let's see, material. How did that work? Append. Save. See how that looks. And that's very neon. In fact, too neon. So maybe we can just delete you. Let's go. And then we can go pixel depth offset. So let's try to scale this. <clears throat> X coordinate. If we could go one by one, looks like that. If we go four.
So let's make it 0 0.25 by 0 0.25. a bit better, slightly pixelated, but we'll see if we could change that a bit into, let's try 0.5 by 0.5. So some tiling, there's some tiling in there, but it's way less ob obvious than the first we did. So now we could put in some um, texture on it. I would do some basic grass lines, and um, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. So let's go back to our Photoshop. Let's. Um, do some painting. So I would go, let's see, I think, I think we can pen tool, or should I go brush? Let's do pen freehand, and then let's do, I would do vector um, drawing. See if I can do something out of it. Sample. No, I need a freeform pen. There you go. Oops. Let's do lines. Let's do freeform shapes. Freeform pen. And then path. And we should, all right, I need a, wait, this is pen tool. All right, so let's start with our pen and um, let's draw some path in here. Freehand pen tool. Let's see. Zoom in. Okay. So now this one's a tool size. And I want to start with some small sketches to see how uh, big these ones, although I'm suspecting it's going to be big because of our um, Try that and go to brush. We have black and we stroke. Maybe that's too thick. Let's go two. Okay. It's a bit hard to see. Let's go three pixels. Let's see how that how big that one is. And um, 
save. I just want to make sure I I do the scaling right. Okay, re-import. If I can find it. seem to find my um, should be right about here but it's not there so um, let's see again save okay four It did save as a separate file. Let's take that so we don't get confused. Re-import. Hmm. There you go. So it looks like grass won't work this way. I would go with puddles. Maybe spots in the. It's just too flat to be. So I would go with top view things. All right. At least we know. But in terms of size, that would roughly be the right size for a, like a grass patch. So. Alright, let's start with something like Alright. See if you can do this. Select. Let's just undo this. I would start with let's do pen let's do a patch of mud how about that oops Do the fill. Let's do a fill colored one just to make sure we don't go. Let's try the brown one. Brown. There you go. And then we can stroke that with black so to be more consistent with our um, art style. Let's try stroking that with... Uh... Oh, I can't. That's because it's a shape. How about I do... Duplicate that. Make selection. And then go... Work path. Oh. We can go make selection. Then this could go make work path from selection. So this is our. Okay, it's been a while since I've been able to use this. 
let's start with let's put it in a new layer a work path and then we can trace there you go if that even works layer let's go on top there you go so it does work just need to make sure i'm uh, okay some okay maybe i should do this delete and we can give it an effect which is drop no stroke this should look nicer there you go i would go with we used three let's try two pixels now i want this to have the same texture as this one see changing it to multiply no. brown and green just turns to black that's why we can however do this put it right there let's do create clipping mask mm -hmm. but this one looks like a golf course so let's do multiply hmm it's a bit better maybe I have to make the mud lighter but soft light let's do multiply overlay yeah I think that fits more with our art style I mean I could do we could also do um, black uh, spots in here for water or like a um, pool of water but I can do that later and then you'd have material with gloss all right let's start with this and see how it looks on our game save Let me save this as another one. Save as version 2. And then let's re import using a new file. Hmm. That's not bad at all. I mean, the thing is, now the pattern looks more obvious, but. that can easily be a pool of water okay let's make it smaller let's do this and okay I'm just I think I have to select the shape I'm confused why is it like, there you go so I have to select the shape turn it smaller and then put some uh, See if I can um, add more to this. No. Let's see if we can make more of these. Okay, disable release clipping mask and 
wait. Okay, let's do more of this. Close. Um, okay, switch. Mm, there you go. Now it's working. There's a whole map to fill with. So. And then we go small ones. Almost like a clustering in there. Balance it out. Okay. That's a lot of shapes. So now we can see how much of this we can um, put together. Convert to smart object. That would make it one layer, and then we can do create clipping mask. I would do multiply. Let's do dark um, screen. Let's do bright, soft light. Let's do hard light. Let's do soft light and then we maybe have the image dark in a bit. So brightness. And let's change the contrast. Adjustments contrast. Alright, let's start with that. But this is just a, our first try. I'm just sharing with you how I'm seeing how it can work for the game. Re import. Okay. Um, it's not that bad. It's very patchy. And now the tiling is less obvious. So let's see how it looks on gameplay. I mean, it could use some. Um, I would go with some changes in the surface texture, but so far I'm liking it. I would do. I would change some of the shapes, maybe. Somehow it turned to bright. When you go here, it starts to adjust the lighting. I'll take care of that later. So, um, let me see. Yeah, I think I like it. Can def definitely change some of the shapes, and um, maybe take out some. It's too much, too much in there. Okay. See how can we go? Let's see, 
here. Let's go. This is too big. Maybe we need we need big ones. Okay, this one's too big. And um, so that, and then some stuff in the middle I would take out. Just so you have, you almost have like regions of these um, patches. Regions where they concentrate and regions where they don't. I think it would look more natural that way. Okay, I would put you in there, but I would take this one. one yeah let's leave that in there maybe take this out it's not you um, no hmm there you go and um And I would move some of the stuff. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Go right there. Right there. Maybe cluster them together. Now it might look too obvious to have these guys maybe slightly bigger. Hmm. Is that too clustered? Okay. I would have you resized so you don't compete in size. Rotate and have you right there. One looks like Spider-Man. Oh, that's Batman. Okay. Mm, maybe I'm just overthinking things, but yeah, I'm liking that so far. All right. So now they look like they're on each. One in each corner, so I have to move this. All right, let's do that. It's close, and this one should be updated. Let's start with this. Let's go with this. I mean, and re import. I think it looks better and with some maybe rocks and um, stuff like that grass trees it would look more natural 
Okay, um, I, we just did our first um, floor material, and I would have different ones for different biomes um, or theme, and I would put I would see if I could put some more texture on the ground so it has like a slight three D feel to it but not too much as to affect the art style and I think that's I think that's it for for now and thank you for spending this time with me um, in making our first uh, environment floor material um, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and until next video thanks for your time bye bye